Hey guys, welcome to Omnivision Studio, today we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects, and create a new composition. Let's call it Cassette Player. I'm using the 1920x1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. And I am using a duration of 4 minutes. But you have to keep the duration according to your music timing. Now import these files into your project. You can download them from the link in the description. First place the background, onto the timeline and fit it perfectly. Grab your music files, and then place it below this background layer. If you press L double time you can see the waveform of your audio files. You can hear your audio now. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. This is a lovely song isn't it, then add the cassette player on above the background layer. As you can see this cassette is huge in size, so let adjust it, press S to open scale and then change the scale value to 17%. It looks perfect now. Right click on it, and select pre-compose, let's call it cassette 1. Select move all attributes into the new composition, then hit OK. Let's create a shadow to it, select this cassette player and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate. Select this bottom layer, and call it Cassette Shadow. Now go to the Effect and Presets, and search for Fill Effect. Apply it onto the shadow layer, and then change the fill color to a black color. Again go to the Effects and Presets, and this time search for the CC Radial Fast Blur effect. Apply it to the same layer, then grabbed at the center point. Now increase the amount by 91, this shadow looks too dark to me. So here press T, to open opacity and then change the opacity value to 70%. Cool, this looks good to me. It's time to add the wheel. Select the wheel layer and place it onto the timeline. This is going to be on top of all layer. Now press S to open scale, and change the scale value to 17% as well. Now align this wheel with the circle, and make sure it is aligned perfectly. Press R, to open rotation, and now we are going to add an expression to it. Press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon, to add an expression here. In this expression area type time star 60, it means this is going to rotate 60 times in a minute. Click anywhere to object from this expression box and then check the animation speed. Now make another duplicate of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D, and align this second wheel on this circle position. Now they both are rotating at the same time and the same speed. Let's add, an audio spectrum here for some visuals. Create a new solid layer, and let's call it Visualizer. Then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the visualize layer, and let's adjust a few settings. In this audio layer, click and choose your audio layer. Grab this color picker, and choose this color. Select this bottom color picker as well, and choose the same color for it. Let's adjust the starting point, of this audio spectrum, Change the first stock point value to 796, and the second will be 414. Change this first value to 1086 as well, and then change this second value to 414. Now our audio spectrum is in the center of this block. Let's change the end frequency value to 200. And frequency value to 45. Maximum height to 131. 
Here is my audio spectrum. Let's make another duplicate of this visualizer layer. And name it visualizer A dot. I am choosing the display option to analog dots. You are free to play with the side option from here, but I am going to use the side A and B. Then select bottom layer visualizer. Check the side A, and side A and B. Now select the visualizer a dot, and increase the maximum height to 144. Check the animation and see you like it. It's time to add a text. Go to the tools and select text tool. I am using first big text for the audio file name. I am using this font. You are free to use your own text style. Align the text position so they look good to your eyes. For the bottom layer I am using the artist name. Make sure all your text is aligned over the lines. Perfect! And our animation is complete. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. Till then good luck!